Hello, welcome, friends of Tyler, lovers of Tyler's albums, lovers of hip hop, lovers of rainstorms, and hot ass 98 degree weather. In this video, we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna take a little quick look at Tyler's last album before Igor called Flower Boy. I did a drawing too of this video way back, which you can also watch before I continue with what I'm gonna talk about right now. Um, I made a drawing, an animated drawing, back when this album came out in 2017. It was July, it was also hot that day. Sunflowers, rain, flower boy, orange pastel colors. Summer, won't you feel it in the air? So I'm gonna draw on top of the drawing that I started two years ago. You following me? Gonna draw on that drawing assess it, collage, work on top of it, work some other parts into it. I'm gonna walk you from the process of me making this thing to creating another awesome layer of it. And at the end of this video, you'll be able to buy a print of what I make. It's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna make it limited edition. It's gonna be very exciting. You all have been coming through and buying these prints like fucking hotcakes. So we're gonna get into this drawing. We're gonna make some prints. We're gonna make some awesome ass work. I'm gonna be talking to you guys a lot about collage and uh, flowers and orange colors. And who are the three husbands? What the hell is a third husband? Can someone have three husbands? Find out right after this commercial. Hope you're enjoying the show. Wanna remind you guys, the best way to support me are two ways, domrabbin.com slash shop, buy my shit, patreon.com slash valet. Sign up on there, free original art, giveaways, tutorials, assignments, valet the summoning cards, personal vlogs that you'll see nowhere else, and old, old drawings of mine. Patreon.com slash valet. Step one, when you're starting a drawing, Step one, when I'm starting a drawing, what I do is I assess it. You gotta look it up and down. You gotta eyeball it. Like this, like you're, you're, like you're in that club. That club where all the Nigerian vampires go to. Where I went last night and I, I, was, I was looking, I was trying to pretend to be a Nigerian vampire, but they all knew that I was just a fucking mortal. And I, I'd seen that Blade is gonna be played by Mahershala Ali. And I was, like, I was excited, right? So I go to the Nigerian vampire club. And I'm sitting here like this checking out the vampire people. I'm like, the women in here are fucking gorgeous and they'll probably kill me. And they were like, listen, man, you gotta fucking go. I was like, no, no, man, you're, just like, you're not a fucking vampire, man. And then? Were, were, were you planning on going to the club before you heard about coming back? Or was that, was <laughs> I've that been that trying thing? to get into the club. I've been trying to get into the club, but what happened was basically, when, when that got announced, the Nigerian vampires got so excited that they, they accidentally posted up some pop-up bar thing that they were doing, and I was like, I'm in that shit now, you feel me? That was the sound of my feet when I was running to the bar. Alas, I couldn't get in, but I'm gonna get in there at some point. If any of you know how to get to the Nigerian vampire bar, um, please let me know. They change it like every couple weeks because like, apparently they have vampire hunters coming out there. But you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get in, you know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't wanna be a vampire, I also don't wanna die but I'm really curious about, you know, what's going on in there. <laughs> a ride, caravan ride is concerned for my health. Listen, man, I do what I want, all right? Listen, man, you know what I'm saying? I got protection. I got them silver bullets for if anything happens, all right? Don't look at this. That's actually, that's actually covered in vampire blood, all right? So, so what you're doing then is you're walking into a vampire club with a weapon to kill vampires. But, but you're, you're, yeah, you're, but you're, I'm you're saying if I... Be, you're trying to be accepted by them at the same yeah, time. Yeah, but I, it's, it's going to be fine. Like, I can actually, like... I'm not a vampire hunter, I'm a vampire appreciator. Sure. I'm, not a, I'm not a hunter. So I'm just saying everybody in there has weapons. I just happen to have one for humans. So whatever, you know what I'm saying? The reason they won't let me in there is because of the necromancy. That's probably why, because they know that I could bring them back to life potentially. And the gun is just really just me fake. Like the, the, the gun is not the most dangerous thing. It's them spells, you feel me? So. In the assessment, what I do is check out one of, the, one of the things, just like I did in the club, and you really wanna understand what you're looking at. Um, I think with time, I've definitely built up this muscle to be able to look at something and describe it and describe to myself why I like it, why I might not like it, elements I would change. And this is something that's kind of like the, the artist's self-reflective process, I guess. And that's what I'm about to do right now. Now I'm revisiting it and altering it a little bit. I remember making this drawing and 
I wanted to play with flowers and make them draw the flowers in the way that I like. You got a little bit of Georgia O'Keeffe action going on over here. If you, if you take a look at this flower. For all you Georgia O'Keeffe lovers out there, check, this, check that out. Originally, this was a three frame, three frame drawing created to be an animation. It was pretty good. I'm looking back at it. Like I, I, I recall some of what I was trying to do. This fucked up kid, what is he doing with that, those flowers? These color, yeah, so there are three, three distinct parts. So it's super colorful, grayish, and then colorful again. So it's like he's in three states. So, so there's a story that I was writing, or that I am writing, and it has a couple of characters in it called the Three Husbands. And they're basically like, they're almost like a Final Fantasy summon, except when you, when you hire them, they'll pretty much kill everybody in like a 200 foot radius, including you if you don't know, don't know how to stop them. So that, that has me thinking about this because they're, these different flower boys or whatever have different aspects to them. So I think that's something I can play with here. I can, hmm. So we went through the assessment phase. Now it's a new beautiful day. And this is part two. This is step two. This is round two. This is life two. This is the execution part. This is the part where I've assessed the painting. I've assessed the piece of work. And now I know where things are going. I know what I have to do. And I just have to do it. So it's this dialogue where I'm just talking to myself in my head about, um, okay, it has to look like this, it has to look like this, and I keep trying things, and it'll either be a yes or a no. Um, I'm gonna kind of try to demonstrate. This is a drawing of Tyler I did um, that was in a different video for how to draw Tyler. And I wanna use the same motif, the same style of Tyler image. image. So I'm just gonna paste this on here so that I have a very general sense of what the colors are gonna look like. He's obviously gonna be turned, but I wanna, I wanna see what this color is gonna look like. So I'm gonna make three Tylers to kind of emulate that idea of the three husbands I was talking about. And this is generally what it's gonna, what it's gonna be like. And I'm gonna keep the, I'm gonna keep the likeness pretty strong. And this color of blue is gonna be present in the canvas, so I just want to ensure that this blue is going to make sense. So he's going to be kneeling down in this one. In this one, he's going to be going off. This one is behind the flower. So at this point, you step back, you do another assessment, and you just think about the composition, right? So blue, blue, partial blue. I'm surrounded by the orange. And this is a good time to like, you know, you squint your eyes a little bit and you just think about it. Like, does this make sense? If I was just walking by, would I want to stop and look at this? Um, the answer for me is yes, but uh, with a caveat that I think I think the black is gonna help. I think the black is really gonna help sell this um, and sell the different aspects of it. If if they're all if all three of these tilers are like kind of blue and black, so it's gonna be something like this. That's the motion that you're gonna get with the flowers in the background. Okay, we're in phase three. We're in the doom phase. We're in the chaotic phase. We're in the finishing phase. I'm very happy to show you all what I've done with this drawing uh, and where I've taken it. Now, the first thing that I have to address is the fact that there are three Tylers on here. I did stick with this idea of the three husbands being involved. Um, Tyler and his two selves. This is the first Tyler, obviously the central Tyler. This is the second Tyler who is kind of faded out. I did like an overlay layer, kept him in the corner. The third Tyler is just his feet. So I wanted to have like um, a little bit of a triptych. It's like he's segmented into three parts, kind of like when you watch those magician things where they like slice someone up in boxes. I like doing that sort of thing. I stuck with the colors in the background, added a lot more to the flowers. It was, I was thinking about bees. I didn't make any explicit bees, but you do see some flowers here. You get a, a likeness that I, I did spend a little more time than usual getting an okay likeness of Tyler. 
sort of basing it on that other drawing that you all have seen this morning of me drawing Tyler in that blue version, which it kind of sparked me. It kind of got me going to think about how to draw Tyler, um, his ears and all that stuff. I got used to doing that sort of thing. So he's holding this flower. This is another one of my favorite parts. And I just loved, I love drawing fucked up limbs that are not necessarily anatomically correct. Uh, they remind me of one of my favorite artists who I don't talk about very often, Alice Neal. And she does fantastic, or she did fantastic portraits of people. And they were always kind of bent in almost a Lucian, Freud, Lucian Freudian way, if you will. Kept a lot of this stuff in the background this, that's still a little pixely, but to me, that's the canvas. To me, the pixelated image in the background is the canvas. Everything else that is sharp on top, that's in the foreground. I mean, this right here is a portrait. This is a true portrait of Tyler, and it's done, and I'm about to sign it right fucking now. We're going to sign it as edition one for this print. And I think I'm going to sign it in... Um, I think yellow is is the best color to use to sign it, and I want to put it... Mm, you know, usually I do it somewhere in the lower left corner. But I think I want to try something else. I want to try to tuck it right here. Last time when I did the quads drawing, I, I made some cryptic symbols, and I think I'm going to do the same thing. Nineteen. Okay. Beautiful. Now it's signed, and this thing is off to the fucking printers. And that means you can buy it right fucking now. So before I tell you about this print and where you can buy it and all that stuff, uh, and a little more details about what prints are available and all that on my shop, I want to thank you for being here, for supporting me. Um, and it's really, I'm just very happy that I have your attention right now because I know you could be watching anything right now. You could be watching a uh, Honey Nut Cheerios videos. You could be watching Nostalgic Sonic the Hedgehog videos, which are here with me right now. And this video will be over soon, but we do have some announcements for you. The big announcement is that domrabbercom slash shop is the best place for you to support me and buy apparel, print, all that sort of shit. Right now, what we got is a lot of sold out prints. Last week, a lot of people bought the Quaz print immediately it sold out in i think it was about 12 hours so it was basically overnight everyone bought it out i want to thank everyone who bought that please send me images of this print by the way i, I want everyone to see what it looks like in your environment and i personally really want to see um, my art live inside of your environment to live inside of your world i want to see where you're putting it if you're framing it if you're not framing it if it's under your bed whatever happens to it i want to see it because it really would mean a lot to me uh, I think we have one of the Portrait of the Death Grips Gmail and the Straining Orders left. Uh, we sold out of the Dead Portrait of the Dead King, which is awesome. Still got a couple of the Anima left. Uh, Portrait of the Anima from the Tom York album. And, like I said, sold out of the Quaz. But right now, go on domrabbercom slash shop. You can click the link that's right here. Or you can scroll down and click on the link in the show notes right there. Or... If you want, if you want to be an old school person, you just go to domrabbercom slash shop. You click the print section or the apparel section. I also have digital prints available, but right now you want to focus on that little print area. Scoot on in there. There are only five available right now for this printing. For this edition, it's only going to be five that are available. So you want to be one of the first to hop into this and grab it. And don't forget that it's going to a good cause. It's helping to support me and this thing that I'm trying to build uh, that I don't talk super a lot about. But in the future, I would really like to build this into more of an animation empire, something that people have never seen before. I want to sponsor uh, creativity on a level that I have never seen and stuff that I wish existed um, 10, 20 years ago when I was younger and trying to figure stuff out. Uh, and I want to help pay to support more art that I care about. And... 
by buying this print, you're supporting that. So thank you for buying this. I hope to see these things fly off the shelves and I'm just, it's gonna warm my heart if these things sell out and I believe they will, so you wanna hop on that. Thank you for buying these. Thank you for watching this. Um, there are a bunch of other awesome videos on my channel right now. Just put one out this morning on how to draw Tyler. We have a couple from last week, how to draw Quaz. We had one from yesterday, Brock Hampton versus uh, Odd Future. A lot of cool shit happening on this channel. And don't forget, I wanna hear from you guys. I answer your comments, I read all this shit. Let me know what's on your mind right now. If you're um, wondering what to eat later, if you have thoughts about the Flower Boy portrait, if you have uh, thoughts about the other portrait, uh, let me know. The podcast is coming out tomorrow as well. Uh, the guest this week is Davey Go, a fantastic illustrator. I can't wait to show, show you guys that, have you listen to it. It's gonna be amazing. Thanks again for watching this. Thank you for supporting me. I love it. This thing will get bigger, but it's gonna involve you. I'm going to need you to help me on this. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.